This shows a typical modem Wi-Fi router setup that is you could find in a typical home. The modem's connected to the cable through the wall, and then the Wi-Fi router is connected to the modem. Sometimes you'll see these just as one unit instead of two. If you look at the back of the Wi-Fi router, you'll see the modem coming in, and then there's four plugs that are coming out. Now, sometimes you might have only one plug, or some fancy ones have maybe eight plugs, but typically you see four. To connect your bridge, all you do is choose any one of those, it doesn't matter which one. And then plug into the bridge. Then you just have to apply power to the bridge. And give your bridge a few minutes to start up. When your bridge has successfully started, you'll see a solid green light, and then you'll see a pulsing red light. It blinks about once a second to show you that your bridge is operating correctly. If you happen to have a cable unplugged that you haven't noticed, you'll notice that the green light will stop, will shut off, and the red light will start blinking much slower. may look something like this. This tells you that the bridge was not able to connect to the internet. Once you have your bridge connected successfully, plug your filament in. It pulses green looking for the bridge. Then it'll pulse a fast pink showing that it connected successfully to the bridge. Finally, it shows a celebratory rainbow. If you touch it, it'll light a solid color and you know that your filament is happy. If you've instead opted to set up your filament to your Wi-Fi instead of using the one-step setup with the bridge, your filament startup will look just a little bit different. Instead of seeing a fast pulsing pink, you'll see a fast pulsing green. Other than that, the startup looks very much the same. The fast pulsing green tells you that the filament was able to find your Wi-Fi name. Your filament will let you know that it can't connect to the internet by pulsing a blue after it starts. This can also happen if you try to connect your filament to a public, corporate, or university Wi-Fi or if there's some other internet firewall in place. Your filament will try again. It's forever optimistic. If you see blue-green pulsing, then your filament was able to connect to the internet in some limited way, but it's still unable to connect to the filament servers to see its friends. The causes are the same as the blue pulsing. You may be trying to connect to your filament via public, corporate, or university Wi-Fi, or there's some other internet firewall in place.